Hey guys, this is Mrs. Amerishima, or Susie, and I just want to start off by saying that <clears throat> I am going to read this from paper because I had to write it all down so I was organized and not just all over the place. So, um, after Tony's recent rant video and seeing all the comments mostly positive with a few negatives, I just haven't been able to shake the feeling that I need to give my husband a strong showing of support. So here I am. First off, let me start by saying that I love Tony with all my heart. He is a very loving and awesome man and husband. And together and with divine guidance, we have found the path in life that we are supposed to be traveling on. <clears throat> Do we always see eye to eye on every subject? No way. <clears throat> are we always in perfect agreement? Nope. But we talk about our beliefs and ideals. We question each other and through rational discussion and research, mostly on Tony's part, <clears throat> we usually hit pay dirt and find common ground to stand on. But when we don't, we just agree to disagree. We don't call each other awful names when we have differing opinions. What does spewing hate and making nasty comments solve? Let me answer that. Absolutely nothing. So why some people find it necessary to say very hateful and hurtful things to my husband is beyond me. Making snide and ridiculing comments about our beliefs and needing mental health is absolutely not going to change how we think or feel. <clears throat> In my eyes, those people just make themselves look like bullies and jerks. Now, I know that Tony is in a public forum where he shares his research, thoughts, and ideas, but he is not trying to convert or push people to feel and think the same as he does. He's not forcing anyone to watch his videos. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is... If you happen to run across one of our videos that is not to your liking, please feel free to quit watching the rest of the video or any others that we put out. Please keep your black disease comments and thoughts to yourself or feel free to make your own channel to express your thoughts and beliefs there, just as we did and will continue to do on our channel. We are trying to share the knowledge and the love we have with anyone who wants to listen, the keyword there being wants. <clears throat> I was raised in the church. I do believe in God, the creator, my father, and Jesus Christ. I've had my ups and downs with religion and questioned my faith many times. I have been majorly disillusioned by the very people, i.e. pastors, youth ministers, and so on, who are supposed to be there to help. In so many instances, they gave hypocritical advice and corrupt teaching. So here are some conclusions that I have come to. Church is where I make it. I don't have to go to a designated building to speak and pray to my Father God. I talk to him on a daily basis. <clears throat> I don't need to listen to the teachings or judgments of some man that shouts from a pulpit or a group of dressed up people, and a lot of which are phonies who put on a good show for other people on Sundays only. <clears throat> I don't have to read a book that has been translated and retranslated and retranslated some more to know the words of my Father God. I just have to open my ears, heart, and mind, and He teaches me and fills me up with love and gives me all the guidance I need. Church, knowledge, acceptance, and peace all come to me during the times when I am doing the most mundane things like laundry, through difficult times, through good times, before I eat, when I'm driving, but most of all during that quiet time at night before falling asleep. These are the times that I share my feelings and give Him thanks ask for guidance and understanding, and he never lets me down. <clears throat> he provides me with everything I need, not the things I think I need. So many people forget that fact. God provides and answers prayers, but he does it his way, not ours. <clears throat> I just try my best to be a good person. Smiles, prayers, and love are free and easy to pass around. And... I just want to say to everyone out there that has left a positive comment, well wishes, prayers, and love, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing good thoughts, good information, and encouragement to continue. It all means so much to us to know that, they, that there are like-minded people and believers out there. There are still good people, and we are so proud to call you all friends and teammates in the fight. Good versus evil, light versus dark, we are going to win. <clears throat> And finally, to all the haters out there, God loves you, and through his grace, so do we. <laughs> Many prayers and blessings to all. We wanted to share that picture and show that, not because 
we're trying to say we're perfect. We're just, we're real people, and we really do care, and we really are just trying to do the right thing. So, thank you. Thanks for watching.